Okay, guys, welcome everyone over here. And I am Mamta. I am a wall muralist and a doodler. So I take these workshops called Doodle Art Workshop, and I am here to teach you a little bit of doodle. So this is our day 16 of our 21 day lockdown, and it is, uh, you know, difficult to keep busy in these times, but PNG, I Smile, and the Pain Pampers team in association with Toying promise to bring you new and fun ways to stay entertained in this 21 days. So through all this, they are coming up with all the different kinds of workshops and everything every day on daily basis. You can tune in and you can see all these workshops and you can learn new things every day. And you will learn, you'll move around, and you'll really have one happy hour, right? So this is session four of pampers pastimes and you can use this hashtag if you share you know pictures from this workshop on your instagram or youtube or you know facebook anywhere and so today we are going to do a doodle together and we are going to have a lots and lots of uh, fun also and uh, okay so invite your parents friends brother, sister, whoever is there in the house, join us and we are going to start this thing. Okay, so one hour of doodling, call anybody and everybody you can. Fine. Okay. Okay, so should I start? Are you guys ready with your pen, pencil and paper? Give me a thumbs up. You ready? You're having your pencil, you're having your uh, notebooks. Should I start? Okay, I'll start. Hi, Sahasra. Hi, everybody over there. And uh, we'll start right away. Okay. So first, we are going to practice some basic stationary doodles because today we are going to make something um, related to stationery and related to stick figures. So with me, make some stationery uh, objects. Now stationery. Stationery what? Pen, pencil, rubber, sharpener, box, ink, all these kinds of things. Okay. So now suppose if you're going to make this pen, right? If you're going to make this pen, now try and look on this pen and consider this as a shape. Now, what shape you see? What shape? This is what you can call it a rectangle with curved lines here and here. Right? If How are you going to make this? Now, look at me. This rectangle and this for the cap portion. This, the cap portion. Okay, and then this lid. Right? Now, can you call this thing as a marker, as a pen? Yes, you can call this thing as a marker. Now, if you are going to make it in a more detailed way, then how are you going to make it? Now, just curve these lines. Now, there is a curve over here. There is a curve over here. Now, we are going to curve the edges. Two lines. Okay, curving the edges. Easy, and then the cap portion, and then the leg. Are we able to make this? Right, now let's make what? A pencil. Now, when we observe a pencil, what do we see? We see two straight lines, a curved line here, and triangle here, okay? 
So now what we are doing, we are, yes, you need to draw it. You have to draw with me. Get your pencil, get your pen, whatever, and some sheets. Draw with me. Okay, so two lines, curved line over here and triangle on the top. Okay, try to see every object in shapes, right? Now we are going to make this pencil. Look closely. So, two lines, okay, curved, curved, okay, and it has a rubber also. So, rubber portion, okay, then the sharpening edges, triangle, then triangle on the top. And the lid over here. Right? Now let's make a thin pencil. This is very thick. So, two parallel lines curved here, rubber on the back, triangle on the top, and the lid. If you're not able to make curve, just join it. No problem. Just join it. See, Doodle is all about communicating. If the viewer is able to understand that whatever you have drawn is a pencil or a pen, that means your drawing is correct. Doodle should not be correct, should not be measured, should not be accurate. Doodle is something which is only communicating. So do not worry if it is not, you know, uh, coming as proper as I am teaching, but it should look like whatever product you are doing, whatever product you are drawing. Okay, fine. Okay, now let's make eraser. Now eraser is what I have. Okay, eraser is in rectangle. So let's make rectangle over here. And then it has a cover. Okay, so cover, and then you can write eraser. Right? See, rectangle and a cover. Right? Okay, so if you want to make it in this way like this side is also showing and this side is also showing then how you're going to do it then you're going to make a 3d thing a cuboid thing okay so rectangle first okay make a cuboid okay and then cover it like this cover this cover Right, and then you can just make some patterns here. Yay, how is it going? Going good. So what have we done till now? We have made marker, we have made pencil, and we have made what? Erasers. Okay, now let's make, oh, pen stand. And this is a mug in which pens are there. Okay, so now look at this mug. You can make a rectangle in a very simple way. You can make a rectangle and a C, like flipped C. Okay, and then pens on the top. Now, very simply, how you're going to put it? I'll just keep it here so that you understand this. Rectangle. Okay. Flip C. Okay. 
and pens in it. Now we are going to make it more complex, like in a curved way and everything. So now have a look over here. What do you see? An oval? Do you see an oval? Right? Oval, two lines, and a curved line. Try to see any object in shapes and in lines. Okay? So, so oval, oval, okay? Two straight lines. All right? And a curved line. All right? Flip C. Two times. Okay? And now, the pens inside. From here, starting from this. And now you can rub these lines which are coming inside the pen. Right? Got it? Very good. Now, these pens are like they are, their top is not visible. Now we are going to make them with tops. So what are you going to do is you just erase this and make their tips. Okay? Now make a cap for this. Okay? Now Another style of cap. Right? Very easy. Like in just simply shapes way. Right? Pencil, then markers, and then the rubbers. Okay, now how is how it is made is very simply. You can make either square or rectangle, any kind of a shape, and then the cap on the top. Easy. Another square inside, and then you can write. Ink. Getting me? Good. Now, what we are going to do is, okay, I'm waiting. Draw this. All right. Okay. Now we are going to make this ink bottle in a more observed way, like with curved lines and everything, right? So make with me. First, make an oval. A small oval. Hello, hi. Okay, make a small oval. You can tune in and follow their page to see what kind of workshops they are coming up with. Great, good, made it good. So small oval, two lines, small lines. All right, now close this with the curved line again. Hi, Bansali, Bhai Shali, Bhai Shali. <laughs> 
Okay, then two lines from the sides. Two on the side, curved line to connect it, and then two lines horizontally from the sides. Okay, now we'll go and make two straight lines. And then connect it. Then what make a rectangle inside. Any kind of ink. I think it has red ink. And then you can make some lines on the cap. All right. Okay. So now we are going to move to our next topic, which is stick figures. I am rubbing all this, okay? Cleaning this. Okay. I wrote these with the permanent markers, so this won't go. So pay no attention to them. <laughs> okay, now stick figures. Now make it with me a circle, small circle. Okay. A rectangle just below the circle. Now make another circle and make triangle just below this one. All right. Now we have lines and lines with just simple straight lines. One, two, one, two. Triangle. This triangle over here and a V over there. Okay. Straight line. And a straight line here. Small oval over here. Small oval over here. Are you guys making it with me? Small oval over here. Over here. Okay. Same small ovals over here. Here and here. For legs and hands, basically what we are using, a small oval. This is your hand, oval, small oval for your hand. And this is the foot, small oval for your foot. Okay. Then for the square one, okay, for the square one, make some lines on this hand. Easy. First, we are going to do this, Lavanya. Okay. Now, for the make two lines on the head and then just bring those lines. Okay, now for facial expression, two dots for eyes, then for nose and then for mouth. Now see, 
this is the face okay now two dots two really big dots okay then a c c okay okay now for mouth a curved line easy right now let's okay curved line no it does not have to be always c you can always go and make another shapes like triangle like square like circle like dot like v try it out okay then for the girl two dots see over there because she is looking that side flipped see okay then a curve getting it good now let's draw lines your girl and boy is ready Okay, are you guys doing it with me? Enjoying? Yay! Good. So now we are going to make a final thing with in which we are going to involve stationery with these stick figures, and then we are going to make a whole doodle out of it. Okay. So now what you can do is you can take one sheet. a plain sheet and then maybe you can convert that sheet into a greeting card and you can give it to your mom or dad or anybody you can draw absolutely any kind of pattern any any kind of pattern you can draw dots in this you can draw okay so now we are going to involve these two things and we are going to make a a final greeting card and that will be our last set so you can take out your cameras you can ask your mom your dad your brother your sister anybody who is around you so that they can record as you are practicing these steps okay you can share your pictures of your uh, doodle and you can um, use hashtags like pampers past times on instagram and then you can upload them on i connect or you can whatsapp them to fatima or sanika and they will feature you okay try refreshing abhishek because i think the connection is good over here <laughs> thank you Okay, so you guys ready with your cameras and everything? Give me a thumbs up. And remember to tag with Pampers Pastimes and everything. Okay. Okay that is great now we are going to pull the last set get your cameras tell your mom that to you know record or take pictures okay okay take out the fresh sheet okay good so many thumbs up you guys are already great now so first we are going to make a pencil okay you know how we made pencils two straight lines and 
triangle on the top. Now we are going to invert that pencil. What happens when you invert that pencil is triangle is, see, this part will come on the top and triangle will come below. The down part will be the triangle part and the upwards part will be the eraser part. Okay, so instead of making pencil like this, we are going to make pencils like this. Follow me. Okay, first you have to make it with pencil and then you finalize it with pen. Okay, do not just go and make with pen. Okay, fine. Ajay, don't uh, look at these. I have used permanent marker and I cannot rub them. So, yeah. Okay, now make two slant lines. Slant. Make with me, I'll be, you know, waiting after each step so that you can make two slant lines. Make it with pencil. Use pencil. Okay. Uh, make it in the C. If this is your paper, make pencil over here. Okay. I'll make a bigger version. Okay, now connect the top part. Easy, make one more line above it. Okay, now make a square. Do you see the square? Now connect it with the, this line. So this is what? This is the eraser behind the pencil. Okay. Now we are going to make triangles like this. Zigzag line. Zigzag lines over here. Make it with me. Zigzag lines. Good. Okay, now triangle. Right? So far, so good. Are you able to do this? Good. Give me a thumbs up. You're able to do this. Okay. Now we are going to make the lid. Okay. So if this is the top, make, join it like this and then fill it. So over here, Joining it and filling this. Easy. Once again, this was this is the structure. We are joining it over here. Okay, and please make sure that you click pictures to record things because I would really love to see them. Okay. Now make a square a oh, rectangle make a rectangle near the pencil make a rectangle near the pencil
right? Okay, see, this is your paper size, okay? And you are making pencil over here. Rectangle over here. And a circle over here. Okay, this should be the size of your drawing on a paper. Okay? Right. Good. Okay. Now for legs. Now you see closely. This is what we have done so far. Now for Okay. Now we are going to make the second leg with same technique. Slant like a little bit more than the previous one and then the straight line getting it okay again slant and a straight line okay do one thing make this straight no problem first one like this Second one, like this. Getting it? Okay, and then what for the foot? Little small ovals. Oval that side, ovals that side. Okay, so. Now. Do you see the base is same? Okay. The pencil should not be so below or so up. It should have the same length. Okay. Great. Now, making hands. Now, making hands. Now, what we are going to do is this person, this figure is holding this pencil. So the hand will go like this. I will see if, uh, if we complete on time, then I'll show you, okay? Okay. Okay. So, holding the hands over here, curved line, curved line, curved line like this, curved line, okay? Now, it will reach till the pencil over here, curved line till the pencil, curved line till the pencil. Just simple curved line like this. Okay, now make a little oval over here, easy, oval, oval, getting my point, hey Mawson, there are kids uh, of all ages over here, so I mean getting in that space, yeah. Be with me. Stay with me. Okay. Now the next hand. Next hand. Okay. Curved line. Till this line. So first we made a line till this point. And now we are making a line till this point. Okay. And then make one oval over here. Now see the perspective, how it is showing that one hand is coming from behind 
and the other hand is holding from the front are you understanding the context over here of this hands right all right okay now it is totally up to you what you want to make if you want to make a girl you can make a girl if you want to make a boy you can make a boy okay so now if you are going to make a boy so i'll make two heads okay if you are going to make a boy make six zig hairs on the top okay and if you are going to make a girl make a curved line till here fill this portion and zig 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 for the hair right so it is a pony okay so i'll make a boy over here okay and now you remember the facial expressions okay two dots flip c and a curve right two dots flip c and a curve now we are going to make here two dots flip c and a curve okay now why a flipped c why this way because the person is uh, you know it's tilted like this and holding a pencil in this direction so the c portion will come like this the flipped c okay Hi, Gargi. I'll be answering your questions at the end. Okay. Fine. Okay. Now, having made all this, now what we are going to do is you are going to write anything which you want to like. Like if you want to give this card to your mom, to your dad, you can write "love you, mom and dad," or you can write uh, "thank you," or you can write. Uh, anything anything if you have any person who is having birthday you can write happy birthday anything but where to write that i am going to show you so what you have to do is you have to write below this point here okay so i am writing thank you okay write thank you see you start from here from this leg but you don't go till here stop in between do not write like this don't write bigger okay leave some space over here so it will be like this thank you see i am not reaching till here i have left that space you can write bigger text also it's totally up to you okay so have you written and you can write absolutely everything and anything i mean thank you love you miss you uh so i am telling one design which does not go with that but uh, it is totally if you want okay now we will connect the u line now we are going to make lines like this okay wavy lines practice 1 2 3 4 okay again 1 2 3 4 easy okay so let's start from here 
and one, two, three, and connect the U. Getting my point. Okay, what we did, I show you again. We are connecting line from this lead pencil to the U part. Okay, one, two, in curve line, one, two, three, go. Okay, do this. One, two, three, and connect. Right. I'll do it here also. One, two, three, and connect. So what is it showing? That it is showing that you are writing with the pencil. The pencil has written the message. Now that message can be anything. Okay. That's why I was not writing in bigger, uh, you know, fonts. Okay, got it? Everybody, so far so good? Have you made all this in pencil? Okay, give me a thumbs up. What have you written? Thank you, love you. Why is the pencil so big? Because it is doodle and we show things in a doodly way, okay? So you could have drawn a smaller pencil also, but you can always go unrealistic in this version of Doodle, okay? It should not be measured, it should not be accurate, it should be only eye appealing. Okay, Rahul? Okay, now make, you can make any kind of shape in the background, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I wrote good day. Love you. Nice. Good. Okay. Now let's make some background. Now these background can be absolutely any shape, any shape you like. You can make things like this. You can make heart shapes. You can make circle you can make triangle anything anything okay so it is totally upon you what you're going to make i am making um okay i'll make circles over here and maybe triangles over here okay now just make some All right. Oh, you wrote education. Oh, that's very thoughtful, Karana. Okay. Now we are going to draw lines in the pencil. At least to draw two lines. Okay. Two lines. Easy. Now the rubber portion, the eraser behind the pencil. So it is like this. Right? It is like this. Now what you have to do is you have to make you have to make one line here and one line here. Inside. Okay? So it will be like this. Right? All right, good. Make some lines for the 
body also okay here okay i'll wait for 2 minutes grab your pen and you know finalize it with the pen first oh too much noise oh you adi road miss you friends oh okay grab your pen and finalize it two minutes for that go fast already done with the pen awesome you are fast okay wait for two two minutes then for others to complete give me a thumbs up when you are done thank you thank you okay finalize first finalize yes you can actually do anything if you want to make buttons you can make buttons if you want to fill uh, the body with the colors you can do that also if you have sketch pens or colors you can fill colors in this Okay, so the answer to the Gargi Goel question is. In the meantime, I'm I'm answering questions. Hi, Mamta ma'am. I am a fine art student. Whenever I start doodle, I always stuck on two or three objects. Can you please tell us how to practice for brainstorming? Very easy. Start observing things around you and practice. The way I told you right now. See what we did. We drew pencil. pencil was right there in front of us and then we observed it that how the lines are going we dissected it in our in the shapes and then we did it we made rubber uh, eraser we made a cup a pen 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 stand so this was all by observation so there are many things for observation at your home so try observe them look them and dissect them into shapes and try to see them into lines and then make it you know if you'll start practicing after a while you'll be able to make good things okay yes go 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 how to teach flowers so i'm not covering flowers in this session but you can always go check doodle art workshop i take many tutorials over there okay so those who are done you can fill the shape if you have colors fill the shapes with colors like the background shapes if you do not have colors it's okay fill it with black color i am talking about the background shape okay yeah yeah you can do it with the black sketch pen also what is doodle doodle is something which is done unfocused like when you are talking on the phone and you have pencil in your hand and then you are just talking but then something is happening with this hand the scribbling part that is doodle doodle is something which is done without any focus so um so that's why doodle can be anything it should it can be anything but it should be only communicative right if you are drawing pencil the viewer should understand that this is a pencil okay you cannot make a circle and call that a pencil so doodle is something which is very much communicative but not accurate not measured okay flower doodle i'm not covering flower doodle over here but basic just long lines long curves long curves
and then you can try with different leaves okay 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 fill the background fill the background Okay, I'll be waiting 30 seconds. Okay, do it fast. So if you have colors, you can uh, you can fill these background shapes with color also. Okay, and you can use multiple color also. Okay. But if we want, can we mix all the stationery together? Totally upon you. Totally upon you. Now, this was the... Uh, this is to get you started. Now, you can just observe and make absolutely anything. Okay? See, that's what internet is for. Look for objects on the internet if you are not finding any more objects in indoor, right? But look for real objects. Do not look the drawings one, okay? If you are looking for like suppose garden objects, okay? Then look for real objects. Understanding, I am not saying look for the drawing one or the illustrated one because if you will copy, then these things won't fit in your mind. So try to observe and make it. Okay, Gargi? Yes, Vikram, you can add absolutely anything. Okay, guys. Click the picture of your drawing and upload it on Instagram or YouTube with this hashtag Pampers Pastimes. Okay? Oh, Adi. Thank you. So click pictures and wherever you upload, upload with this hash hashtag. And uh, if you are in contact with uh, Fatima or Sanika, you can WhatsApp them or send them and upload them with uh, iConnect. Okay. That is so great. How did you feel? You were able to doodle? Okay, Sonal. So when you're making... So this is the body, okay? So this is one leg like this and the other leg coming on the top like this, okay? And this is the chair. Getting? Yay! Uh, 
for more lessons, I am there on Instagram with Doodle Art Workshop. Simply Doodle Art Workshop. Okay, that was it. And if you have any questions, I will be answering them for next two minutes. Guys, please uh, get, uh, so if you want to do more Kavya, they are coming up with more workshops. Please follow this and you can follow this on Instagram also and you can see what kind of workshops they are coming from. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Great. Oh, pastime has one S. Sorry, guys. Past time is one S. <laughs> Thank you. And I hope you loved this session. And uh, we hope that you click this pictures and you upload it so that I would be able to see how you did with my teaching here, okay? And please share your feedback also about this session so that we can do better things and you know, we can make your evenings happy. Do not forget to tag us. Bye.